Welcome back to Building in Beauty. I am so excited to have you guys here today for my fall house makeover. I have so much new decor that I'm excited to share with you guys today and just deck this house out for fall. I love fall, you guys know. I thrive in fall. This is my time of year. I actually have a lot of new home decor that's not even fall related, so I feel like we just have a whole house makeover at this point. <laughs> so lots of good things coming in today's video, but before we get started, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Jisoo Life. I absolutely love Jisoo Life. I have a couple other products here. You guys have heard me talk about them before. I've had these two fans for well over a year now. The quality is amazing. The battery life is amazing. I actually keep this one in my bathroom and I use it to dry my skincare or dry my makeup in the morning. And then this one, I keep like, I take it all over the house with me. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I use it in my office. I'll take it to the living room. I'll put it on my dining table. I'll take it to my kitchen and it extends so you can get it right where you want it to go. And so when they told me about their brand new handheld fan, I was like, sign me up. I'm so excited to use it and it's incredible. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. And this is their handheld pro 1s. It features a, they call it their hurricane technology because it has an adjustable little speed thing here. So you can adjust it to your desired setting. It has a 15 hour battery life and it recharges in an hour and a half. I also love how like sleek and luxe this looks. It has like an aluminum alloy design. So just feels really nice in your hand. It's also really lightweight. So you can definitely keep it in your purse on the go. I always will have this in my purse, especially living in Arizona. It's so hot here. And you guys roasted me in my last video. It was so funny. You guys roasted me in the comments about wearing a sweater when it's like 115 degrees out. And that's because in between takes, I had this little fan so I could keep myself cool. <laughs> You guys didn't see that, but that's actually what was happening. Also, my mom keeps her house super cold, so I could walk around and show you the decor and have this fan and it was A-OK. -okay. But anyway, they are offering my followers an exclusive discount. If you use code BUILDING40, it will get you 40% off, which is so incredible. So I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to shop. Thank you to Jisoo Life for sponsoring today's video. Let's have some fun decorating. so excited to dive into some cozy fall decor. We're starting with my fireplace because it's one of my favorite spots to decorate each season. I started by taking down all my summer decor and I couldn't wait to get this sign up. It says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. I picked this up last year from a local place called the Old Brick House and I couldn't wait to use it again this year. After I removed the rest of my summer decor, I decided now would probably be a good time for me to vacuum my mantle too. After I put this sign up, I started feeling like the brown arch decor needed to come down because it was looking a little bland. I already had some similar black arches on hand that I felt would add a little bit more depth to the space. One of my favorite finds this year were these rattan pumpkins from Home Goods. I thought these were a great buy because Pottery Barn sells a similar style that is almost double the price. I initially thought I wanted to elevate them on some candlesticks. I love this trick to add some height to a space, but after a lot of rearranging, I decided it was time to work on the garland instead. So I picked up this garland from Hobby Lobby this year. It was so affordable that I was like, you know, maybe I'll use it on my front porch or something and kind of do something different out there this year. But then I put it up here and I really liked it, but it just needs like a little bit more color. I'm not really done with my pumpkins or anything. I'm trying to get my garland figured out first. So I am going to take this one and this was like, how much was this? Yeah, it was $24.99 and then it's 40% off. So I got two of them basically for 26 bucks or whatever, anyway. So then this is the garland I used last year. This was from Joann's. It's really pretty. I love the muted colors in it, but I think that if I were to put them together, that would be the ultimate. This was like ultra affordable last year. So um, Joann's is a really great place for garlands. So is Hobby Lobby. Of course you can see Hobby Lobby, just their garlands are always so full at such great prices. So I'm gonna deconstruct this one and add it to this one. And we're gonna see what we come up with. Hopefully I love it. I'm going to be using some wire and my pliers to attach the leaves to my new garland. I started by removing all the leaves from the old garland. They actually came out super easy, which was great. Then all I had to do was use the wire to attach the leaves. I thought this was going to be pretty time consuming, but it actually went really fast and it definitely gave me the look I was going for, not to mention I was able to do this on a budget. All the garland needed was a little bit of extra color to help it stand out against the rattan pumpkins. Thank you. 
Next, I added my garland to my mantle. Because I keep some sort of garland up all year, I actually screwed my command hooks to my mantle, so this garland isn't going anywhere. My mantle is unusually large. It's nine feet, so I usually have to double up on my garland. Next, I decided that I wanted to add some lights to the fireplace for a romantic look. I found these lights at Costco for such a great price and they come in a huge pack. They're just battery operated and they have a ton of different settings. I originally bought them for Halloween, but I'm so glad I decided to add them to my fall decor because it really inspired me while decorating the other spaces in my home. I got these huge metal pumpkins last year, also at the old brick house, and I decided I wanted to keep them inside this year. Mark had the brilliant idea to put them inside the fireplace, and I couldn't be happier with how they turned out. I always try to look for unique pieces when I'm out shopping because they usually pay off in a big way like these. It was time to decorate my table, and I started with this darling runner that I found at Home Goods. I like that this is a piece that I could also use for Halloween or just year round because it's a really nice, simple pattern. I have really tall ceilings in my dining room, so I always try to bring some height to my table with the centerpiece to help the room feel really balanced. I got these stems from Target last year, and I noticed they have something similar this year, so I will link those ones below for you guys. I love that they are neutral and warm at the same time. I also added some pumpkins and this oversized clay chain to add some uniqueness to the table. Another great find from Costco were these lit branches. They were super affordable and almost identical to a set at Pottery Barn for a lot more money. I decided to add these to my centerpiece, and I absolutely adore the way they turned out. This is definitely your sign to run to Costco and get these ASAP. My only wish is that they had a remote, but for the price, I really can't complain. Also, I think they would look great on their own in a big vase, which is probably how I'll style them for Halloween. Next up is this small little area in my kitchen. I always like to add a little bit of decor here each season because you can see this space when you walk into our home. I added a vase with some simple florals from Target. I saw they still have these this year too. And then I added this adorable ceramic pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. I immediately fell in love with this pumpkin because it reminded me of something my Grammy would have in her kitchen. She always has some kind of lit decor item burning in her kitchen and I just love it. I added this pumpkin dough bowl with these little boucle pumpkins that I got in a little pack from Kirkland's this year. They were a great buy. This riser is actually a Lazy Susan and I love that it spins. So it doubles as a stylish and functional item so I can light up this little pumpkin. I'm bringing the fall vibes, the fall weather with my decorating. All of a sudden it started storming like crazy. I have to show you guys what's going on out there. It did rain for literally like three minutes earlier today. It like poured and I was like, today's the perfect day to decorate for fall. And now we're into, it's like, yeah, almost nine o'clock at night and it's storming outside. This is the best ever. Okay, it's going crazy out here. I know it's nighttime, but it is like, What do you think, Jeff? <laughs> oh no, my little tree. Anyway, the house is looking good so far. I'm just glad that we're getting some weather and I can pretend it's fall. It is the next day and I'm so excited because I got a notification that my rug is going to be delivered today that I ordered for my dining room. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be here in time, but it is. So we'll get to definitely see that put together in this video, which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna start decorating this shelving behind me in my kitchen. It's one of my favorite spots to decorate for every fall season. I'm starting today's decorating spree by lighting a fall candle. I love this Palo Santo scent from Bath & Body Works. It has notes of Palo Santo wood, warm amber, and soft musk. I started by clearing everything off the shelf so I could clean and wipe down my shelves. I always get questions about where I got this shelving, and my dad actually custom made it for me. I literally love it so much. I have noticed that you can buy similar shelving styles on Etsy if you're in the market for one. I always like to style shelving with items that are varying heights. Open shelving is a great way Way to display unique items so I saved a few of my favorites for this space. This also doubles as a functional space in my kitchen as well so I always have some coffee cups, plates, bowls on display here as well plus they make for great decor. I 
I also got a new rug for our kitchen. Wayfair was having major sales for Labor Day, so I definitely took advantage of the sale. They run sales all the time, so of course I will link this below for you guys. It's tough to come by extra long runners. And since I have a galley style kitchen, a long runner really fits the space nicely. This one is 12 feet. I use a rug pad beneath to help it stay in place. And this rug is so gorgeous and such nice quality. The next rug I got was also from Wayfair. It's from the Amber Lewis collab with Laloy. And when I tell you this is literally the softest rug ever, I mean it. It's a pretty unique fabric and I love the deep colors. I thought this would be perfect in our dining room for fall. We have some lighting in our hallway that I purchased a long time ago and I don't feel like it really matches my decor style anymore so it was time to swap them out. A great way to update a space is just with new lighting. It really makes such a big difference. The space is a challenge for me because the lights are so close to each other so I feel like they need to be the same. I found these really pretty sconces and they were perfect because I could mount them vertically and horizontally. I got this art print from Hobby Lobby and I think it looks perfect here. I love that the new lighting looks like a picture light above this art print, making this space feel really intentional and complete. Next up is my entryway. If you're wondering, my DIY door makeover is still holding up beautifully and I love it still to this day. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh just like Mark did because I'm literally taking down this black round mirror to put up a different black round mirror, but wait until you see the new one. It's to die for. I never felt like my old one was big enough for this space, so when I found the new one, I knew I had to have it. Plus, it looks so much more high end. I got it from Home Goods for 100 bucks and it was worth every single penny. I'm adding this glass amber vase and these really pretty stems I found this season from at home. I think they were only $3 a stem. I couldn't believe it because they definitely reminded me of some I've seen on designer sites. I'm also adding these wood pumpkins I got from Old Brick House, another unique find. I love that these add a natural element to the space and makes it feel uniquely styled. Now that I had this extra mirror left over, I decided to add it to my hallway. This space actually desperately needed a mirror. This is a really tight corner here and mirrors are a great way to make a space feel larger than it actually is. Okay, let's give this living room a little fall makeover. I'm starting by hanging these canvas prints that I found at Kirkland's. I can't even tell you how long I have been looking for a print that was big enough to put in this space. I initially thought I was going to hang them vertically, so I just played around with them until I found a style that I liked. I ended up deciding that they looked great horizontally, and I just decided to flip one upside down to make it look like two different prints. This is such a great trick and gave this space a designer feel. All I had to do was move the D hooks to a new spot and they were good to go. If you've never used a laser level to hang something, this is your sign to try it. I literally can never go back to hang a decor without it because it makes a process like this so much easier. Next, I'm adding these simple wire pumpkins and these woven pillows. I also got out my favorite fall quilt that my Grammy made me. It's literally my favorite quilt of all time. I also added these cozy oversized pumpkins that I found at Home Goods last year. They are some of my favorites in my pumpkin collection. I just got back from Target with the most epic haul of Target goodness ever. I thought I was done decorating. I literally went there to just buy some more stems for my centerpiece because I saw that they had them. So I was hoping to pick up a few more just to make it look a little bit fuller. And then I walked out with a, like a giant cart full. They had so many amazing fall and Halloween items. Their Halloween selection like was epic. It was so good. Their items are so cute and so affordable. I could not resist myself. So I did pick up a few more Halloween items. If I didn't already share with you guys, I will be doing a Halloween refresh this year. So I think that will be really fun. I've never done Halloween before. So I've been stockpiling my little collection and it's growing and I just got some really, really super cute items from Target. So anyway, I have more items. I'm very excited to put out because I did pick up some more fall goodies and some more fall floral stems. So <laughs> Gracie's sniffing everything. <laughs> she always has to inspect. She's so funny. 
So without further ado, oh, I want to show you these lights. We're going to start with these lights that I found that I'm like nervous about and excited about. I think they're going to be really pretty in the living room. I don't know if you guys can see this light. I'll have to do it up close. It has reeded glass on it. So it reminded me of the lights that I just installed in the hallway. I wanted to like, when I saw them, I was like, how cool would it be to bring that element into the living room as well? And they just shine so beautifully. Oh my gosh, I have one more to put on that side. Let's do it. I found these stems at Target and thought they would be perfect in a little vase like this. They come in a little cluster, which made putting this together so easy. I also recently got this gorgeous vase from Target as well. I literally saw it, didn't buy it, kept thinking about it for a couple days and decided I needed to go back and get it because I could not stop thinking about it. It's so pretty. It was such a great price too. And these stems were really affordable from Target as well. And I love that they're wired so you can really fluff them apart to make it look really big. I always like to buy stems in odd numbers such as three, five, or seven, depending on how big the vase is. I also got these battery operated lights and I thought they would be perfect to light up this glass pumpkin, which really helped to bring the romantic feel into my dining room as well. Last but certainly not least, it's time to style my buffet table. I started by clearing everything off and adding this wreath that I made last year. I thought this would be perfect here because it coordinated with the other neutral tones I had in this room. I added this gorgeous runner that I've had for a few years now. I also found it at Home Goods. I love the embroidery on it and I love that it adds texture to the area in a really subtle way. I also added these oversized corbels and some more of those mini cozy pumpkins to add some repetition throughout my home. And lastly, I added these gorgeous pumpkins that I also got from Target. I love the texture and color of these. They look so unique and give this space a vintage feel. Why can't it be fall all year long? I'm loving all the fall vibes in my home. I am so glad to have my house all decorated and just get to like enjoy it now, you know? If I didn't love Christmas so much, I definitely would leave this up for the rest of the year, but then Christmas rolls around and I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas, so I'm ready to tear it all down, but Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It was so funny on my last video. So many of you were like, no, it's too early for fall. And then the other half of you were like, yay, I've been waiting for this video. So let me know which category you're in. Drop a comment below and let me know what you're most excited for, for this upcoming season. Also, while you're there, make sure that you are subscribed. I am on the road to 100K, getting so close. So I really appreciate all of your guys' support and making sure that you're subscribed with your notifications on. And while you're in my description box, check out Jisoo Life. I will leave the link and the code there just a reminder to shop and save you some cash and get you a really wonderful fan. So it also makes a really great gift for the upcoming holidays as well. So thank you for being here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.